Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a tutorial using the Revlon Ionic, which is going to give us wavy and bouncy hair. First, I'm going to go in with my Tresemme Thermal Creation, which is going to protect our hair from any heat that we're going to put in. I like to then go in with any comb that I have and part my hair right in the middle. After parting my hair right in the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and secure it with a hair clip. Once I have taken the amount of hair that I want to start off with, I would also secure the other side with a hair clip as well. And as you can see, there's three different types of settings. There's the cool, the low, and the high. I like to leave mine in the low setting. So just to let you guys know right off the bat, I like to use my Revlon Ionic when my hair is a little damp. I don't like to go right off when I leave the shower immediately extra wet hair. I don't think I get the best result that way. Okay, so starting off with the hair, what I usually do is I like to go either inward or outward. I'm going back and forth, inward and outward, just to make sure I get the best results and just to make sure that I don't leave any wet streaks on my hair. What I like to do is then concentrate a little bit more on my ends to make sure it gives me a nice little bouncy feel to my hair. So and then once again, I'm just going to be repeating the same steps over and over again. I'm going to go ahead and part my hair, secure it with my hair clip, and then grab the Revlon Ionic. I like to then just grab the hair that is only wet at this time and then just go back and forth inward and outward and then just concentrate on my ends once again. I really love using my Ionic. I think it's so great. I think it makes it so much easier to blow dry your hair and I don't dread blow drying my hair because all I have is just one product to work with instead of two. Instead of working with my brush and my blow dryer, this is so much easier and I think that my hair actually blow dries better with this product. Once all the hair is nicely dry, what I like to then do is combine all of the hair together and just redo the same thing over and over again. I just like to make sure that my hair is going to come out nice and straight and bouncy as well. Just in case if you guys were wondering, I part my hair right in the middle because I feel like it makes it so much easier to grip my hair and to make sure that the actual back side of my hair gets nicely blow dried. Once again, I'm parting my hair right in the middle just to make sure I get all the hairs nicely blow dried. I don't want to leave anything behind. I don't want to leave any hair wet at all. And I want to make sure that I get the best results that I can. So I like to just part, part, part and just constantly go back and forth with my Revlon Ionic um, just on the wet hair. Once the hair is nicely dry, once again, I just combine it with the other dry pieces. So here is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also watch out for more of my holiday makeup tutorials, which I will be posting more of. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.